And we're back. Not at the knackle. Well, if this was the knackle, it'd be like on steroids. But, okay. We're back at the compound. It's the knackle, but... <laughs> it's like as if the knackle, like... Uh, became the Incredible Hulk. Hulk type action. Not sure what this thing is. But I'm sure it's junk. And if it wasn't, it is now. Way almost. Boom. Yeah, somebody was asking about that generator. Can't you sell generators? Uh, mm. Yes, if they're in perfect running order and they don't look like they're clapped out like that thing does. Sure, you could sell anything. I mean, you ain't going to get much for it. That'd be a... Like that antique pedal car that I have listed. 466 views. No nibbles. You're just throwing it on the ground, King. I like metal crashing into each other. Like that, you know, like little tin things. So no copper for the king. They just wouldn't even sell it. I offered them 10 bucks. And I was gonna take their cardboard garbage. So that tells me that it must be worth something to them. They're like, no, we do our own copper. Feel free to come by if we're doing any other jobs. <clears throat> that little copper dreamer was stuck in stuck in the scrapping bits. I didn't even know it was there. Ah. 
That's some brassy boots right there. There's about $500 worth of brass and copper it's embedded in the dirt all over this place. It's just a guesstimation, but I think it's pretty accurate. That's about how much I care about it, though. I don't. Lazy or hardworking? Mostly lazy, if you ask me. Welcome to Beaver Garage, where we're not lazy ever. Yeah, winning. Winning. <laughs> where we do wheel repairs. What? Beeper and Sun Garage were home of the 40 acre, 40 car wood. You're just jealous. <clears throat> I'm Beeper and Sun. I've remanded my child. My son! I've remanded my son to a 40-year sentence of <laughs> caring after rust <laughs> and rotting car tires because <laughs> why, why would you do that to your kid? I have no idea, but whatever. Like some sick, twisted life sentence. Just because your kids aren't interested in following your. Uh huh. Uh huh. Couch time. Uh huh. Oh, really? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, you don't say. Mm hmm. Forty cars. Well, I, I'm bad at math. <clears throat> so what is that? That's 160 flat tires, or dry riding tires. Over time, not all at once. How long do tires last before they start dry rotting and they're actually not serviceable? Well, actually, I've had, I myself, I've had tires last mm, 30 years or more. They're not roadworthy, to say the least, but... I guess if you keep them out of the weather, they last a lot longer, like way longer, years and years. 20, 25 years, you can, if they're indoors and not expected, exposed to the sunlight, you're gonna get a lot of time out of them. So this one guy is commenting for the new year build yourself it's not bad advice by the way it's good advice build yourself a bunch of bins and organize and straighten put the stainless steel in one bin yeah look at that piece of stainless steel 
that bin would have to be the size of a dumpster. Maybe for like the little, the little scrap bits, yeah. That would work. Not for the big stuff. Now, this was good. But it got shorted out. Looks like the lights are on. I guess they are. Oh well. It was good. I was going to sell it and it just never happened. One of them things. That's saleable. I don't know about that. Maybe. Vacuum cleaners are expensive. And fairly simple to get working if you can. Clean them up nice. And you might have something that you can sell. Looky there. We got some tools laying in the water. I don't think that thing is any good, do you? How about this, what you may call it? Looks like an air blower of some kind. I have no idea. Don't spend it all in one place. <clears throat> nah, I haven't gotten around to these. It's not really... There needs, we need to create a 72 hour day. Uh, King's Orders. 72 hour day. Enough time to get stuff done. Enough time to sleep. Enough time to work. Well, the yards are all closed. So they're closed today, tomorrow, Sunday, Monday. And the holidays are over and then we hit January and then there's like hardly anything out by the curbside because people have thrown away all their stuff for Christmas. And then the New Year's resolution crap that's gone into the garbage already and been picked up already. So earlier today, this, this is a good $140 right here. So I feel comfortable in the fact that I had, a, even though I didn't cash it in, I had a approximately $300 day, I would say, which is what it takes pretty much to function. About 300 bucks a day on average, some higher, some lower. Got about, oh, I'd say got about, in total, in this bucket, $15 worth of brass and maybe $6 worth of copper. All right, y'all, I'll see you in the next video. I'd love to tear this thing apart. Every time I look at it, I just want to, like, take it all apart and see what... 
see what it's all about. Drum roll, please. Onward. See you in the next video.